be careful now. You be careful. You be careful, baby. Let that leg heal. Good, baby. Uh oh, fell down. You gotta be careful. Yeah. I want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. I've got their mattresses in my camper van, my Class C Bigfoot RV, and my tiny house here. Do you need a mattress for your home or RV? Hmm. Then go to rvmattress.com slash campervankevin. Use the coupon code CAMPERVANKEVIN to get, this month, 35% off your purchase. They also have specials on their pillows, sheets, blankets, and more. All right. Now, back to our video. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Y'all getting tired of me doing that? I'm not. So I'm going to keep on doing it. What's going on today? Well, got a little bit of good news and some things I want to share with you about Martini. One of the things I want to talk to you about, see my uh, Coleman Sayu Spa back here in the back? I think I fixed my leak. I talked about this on my last video. Hey, Dex. You ready to jump in this hot tub, get a bath, swim a little? So as you can tell, she's holding air. Pretty strong. I got some tools and stuff that I left in here, but I'll uh, tell you what I did. Yeah, um, I had already went around this thing with a soapy solution of uh, water. I sprayed every square inch of this thing. I even resealed this patch here. It's not pretty, but I was kind of to the point, well, I don't care. If I don't fix it, then, uh, then it doesn't matter. So that's one repair. But there was not another hole on this hot tub anywhere. And like I said, I went in here and I took Lexcel adhesive caulk. And I went around all these fittings. These hoses go through the Sai Spa. I thought it was leaking there because I thought I heard something. But then I decided to take this top cover off right here. I got a bubble. So instead of using the Lexel adhesive caulk, I used Gorilla Max Strength Construction Adhesive. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Filled it up with air. And guess what happened? Went flat again but it took a whole lot longer. So that got me to thinking, well, maybe I'm on the right track. So I guess I could stand in here, a little bit of water. I gotta clean this thing. But I took a, I was like, well, if it's leaking here at this screw, maybe down here it's doing the same thing. So I took this screw loose and filled this hole with a sealer and it worked. Now, this thing's been sitting all winter. I gotta get in here with a scrub brush and bleach, get all this out, clean all that grime out. It's not a problem, I have to do it every season. But looks like this thing is solved. So I'll hook this uh, pump and heater back up tonight and call the water people tomorrow. I'm running low on my uh, 500 gallons over here so I'll get that filled up, this at the same time. I'm actually able to get a thousand gallons for $75. So, what was that? Dexter, are you trying to get up here? You can do it when it's flat, come on. Can you do it? Almost. 
Come here. I'll help you. Come here. I'll help you. We went to the lake today. I took all the wolf pack with me. And uh, I've got some clips here. You don't want to jump in there, buddy. I've got some clips here of Martini and the rest of the wolf pack down by the water. Now, I'm going to talk about it more in a minute. But Martini, she's just like a puppy again, running around and whatnot. But I, I tried to slow her down. I'm not sure if it's a, it's a full ACL tear or a partial tear. If I remember correctly, she told me it was fully torn. But whatever scar tissue is building back up on that knee, I don't want to mess it up. So I'll let her play for a minute. But here's a couple shots of Martini and the wolf pack down by the lake. She is in by no means ready. I don't know if I didn't clarify or if I wasn't real clear in my video. Um, I have no intentions of euthanizing my dog. I will carry her around in a, in a sling or whatever. Uh, that's, that's just not for that. Uh, she would truly have to be suffering in a bad way for me to even consider it. I mean, I don't want to put her through anything to where she doesn't have a quality of life. If she doesn't have a quality of life, yeah, then I'll do it. But you see how energetic and see how happy she is? We're not, that's not even part of the conversation today. You get it. You get it. Say, I'm not done yet. Got to go out here and uh, get my grill fired up. Turn on the gas. I have been having trouble with this running correctly, and I got a new uh, got a new valve for it here. It's been working great, so I'm going to preheat this thing. Get my steak for my carnivore diet. We have ignition. This was setting outside. I haven't used it yet. I got to clean it up before I use it. So while the grill's heating up, let's talk about something, all right? Uh, some people said that Martini must have fallen off my motorcycle while I was riding it and, and tore her ACL. I'll tell you what, with, <clears throat> with some people, some people's imaginations, they just believe all the horrible things you, that, that are said about people on the internet and they believe it's all true. Can't be over half. But uh, I honestly, I'm not sure how she tore it. I, I have some ideas. Uh, first idea, she's got hip dysplasia. And I think she might have been working that knee joint. I don't know why I had to show you, you know, what a dog's knee looks like. Knee joint too hard trying to compensate for her hip dysplasia. That's my theory number one. Uh, my second theory is that sometimes she yow yows a little bit with the other dogs. And she did several weeks ago as she fell off the bed. Now, she started it. She fell the front of my bed. That mattress is 10 inches high. She fell two and a half feet, three feet. She shouldn't have been yow yowing but she's queen bee around here. She's the boss. And sometimes she feels like she needs to set things straight. That could have been it. We're back over here by the hot tubs. Let me tell you what I really think probably happened. All these babies, since this warmed up, they like to get out here and hunt for lizards and mice. There's just no way I can come out here and get everyone, see that lizard? Did you see? There's no way I can get every one of these rocks stable. I mean, it's just, it's impossible, all of these rocks. If she could have stepped down on a hole like that and got it caught, it easily snapped to snap that ACL. I really, I gotta get the weeds out. I really don't know. But also we go walking every day over on the new property. If I didn't have these keen shoes on, 
I probably broke my ankle by now. See all this rock here? Well, to her, that's pretty big stuff. So I think it could have been from there. So no, she didn't fall off my motorcycle. Back over here to the grill. Brush this off right quick. Already at 500 degrees. I sure do like having this thing back in action. I'm not stinking up the house, heating up the house. Y'all might remember last year I got this grill for free. Looked like it had been used one time. It's an $1,100, $1, $1,200 grill, y'all. All it took to get it to work really good was that new regulator. That ought to work. Let's talk about something else. In my last video, if some losers would have taken time to watch it and or read the description and or read the pinned comment underneath the video, you'd see that I haven't asked anybody for money for me to care for my dogs. I challenge you. I've got 11, 1200 videos over the last, what, 10 years. I challenge you, I challenge you to find one video where I asked for, for money for my dogs. That's, that's my responsibility. I challenge you to go through 11, 1200 videos and look for one time that I asked for money to get me off the side of the road for a breakdown. Find it. If I'm this huge e-beggar that you losers are accusing me of being, find it. When I had cancer three years ago, there were no less than four GoFundMes that were started to help me with my medical bills. Either I had a hand in shutting them down or I asked for them to be shut down. Why? Well, because I, I didn't feel it was right. Why? Well, it's kind of it's kind of hard to go ask your neighbors for a cup of sugar when you got a cup or two in your cupboard, right? I mean, yeah, it hurt financially. It hurt, but I had a fund set aside for that. Um, the only reason I've talked about the prices. Here comes the wind. The only reason I've talked about the prices of the uh, surgery is because if I didn't mention it, you guys would have asked, well, how much would it cost for that? And I think $1,600 to $1,800 for the surgery is, is really reasonable. I hear anywhere from three to 5000 So when the Spain gave me the price, I was kind of surprised. He said he'd do the surgery. And I looked him dead in the eye. I said, okay, doctor. You know how I am with my dogs. I said, I trust you explicitly. If Martini was yours, what would you do? And Dr. Spain, he sat there for a second. He crossed his arms and kind of leaned back a little bit, looked away and looked me right back. He said, I wouldn't put her through it. So if anybody would have taken the time to watch the video, you see that I'm not e-begging for help. I paid my own way. Let me get out of the wind. I think these solar panels will block it pretty good. So, you know, I can save you the time going back and watching 1100, 1200 of my videos. You're not going to find it. I haven't e-begged. I haven't asked for help. I may have asked people to help Felix. I can't remember, or I might have put his GoFundMe up, but it was for somebody else, and Felix needed the help. When I was 17, let's talk about e-begging. If, if anything, I have a Patreon, like, I don't know how many different creators on YouTube have. 
And yes, I have said if you want to tip me for my, my videos, here you go. Just like a, a, a waitress or a waiter or a cook with a tip jar at the counter. There it is. If you, if you appreciate my cooking, you appreciate the service, if you don't mind, and you have some extra, drop some in there. Other than that, I see Patreon as extra content for extra money. That's all you're going to find. And I don't have a, I don't see a problem with it. Of course, I wouldn't, right? That's what you're going to say. Well, let's, let's talk a little bit about Kevin. When I was, I left home at 16. I left home at 16. When I was 17, I got a job that required me to have some kind of special shoes. Darn wind. All right, I'm back up here around some trees. So this special job required me to have special shoes. I don't remember, steel toe or something. And uh, I mean, I was poor. <laughs> if it wasn't for the friends at school giving me a biscuit off their, their, I mean, everybody knew that I was living on my own. So uh, my friends at school, they'd save me something off their plate. Uh, that's how I got by. So I'm 17 years old, right? So I go to my brother. I said, Jeff, I need uh, I need fifty, sixty dollars to buy me a pair of shoes for my job. You know what he said? No. No. Oh, okay. I was quite taken back. Never asked him for a penny again. That was just my brother. Probably did me a favor. When I was 15, hey Dex, you come up here with me? When I was 15, that red motorcycle out here in the barn, that CX-500 that I had sent from Georgia, my dad told me about it. He said, my friend's dying of cancer. What was his name? I guess it don't matter. Brooks, something Brooks. It's 1200 bucks. I said, Dad, if you'll buy that for me, I'll pay you back. He bought it for me, 1200 bucks. I'm, I get a job at Rose's department store. I pay him back over the summer. I still got it. I'll be working on it soon, I hope. When I was 19, I borrowed $500 from my daddy. Forget what it was. I paid him right back. He signed for my business loan. He co-signed for my business loan. That was the last dollar I took from my dad. Now, when I built my purple house and shop and garage, I had it for a few years. Now I'm in my late 20s. And my dad comes to me. See, y'all don't know this. My dad comes to me. And uh, I got my place looking nice. I'm real proud of, it, uh, proud of it and everything. Had a mobile home there, lived there, paid for it. Sold the mobile home, built a shop, then built the house. So we're talking a couple years later. He says, Kevin, he said, I want to help you. I said, help me do what? He said, well, I've done real good, Kevin. And he said, uh, I just wonder what you, what you owe. And I didn't quite understand. I said, well, Daddy, I, th I think I owe around 30000 on the house still. I just bought me a, a new dually. I said, I think I owe about, I don't know, thirty thirty-five thousand 35000 on that. Got a $10,000 line of credit. I don't know, eight ten thousand 10000 credit cards. I said, I think that's it. He said... I don't remember what he said, but I think he said somewhere around 100000 in or something. I said, well, oh, that definitely cover it. He said, well, I'm going to write you a check. So you can write me a check for what? He said, I, I just want to give you a good start, son. And I sat there for a minute. You know, my business was doing good. Yeah, everybody thinks that, you know, I'm this e-beggar and lazy and, and everything. 
I'd already been self-employed at that point for 10 years. I was running my pressure cleaning business. I had some rental property and I was managing other people's rental property. I was flipping cars, motorcycles, RVs. I was busy. All I did was work. And it just it just kind of struck me funny. You're going to do what? I'm going to write a check and just pay everything off, give you a good start. And I said, no, you're not. I said, that's my debt. I really hurt my dad because he wanted to do something for me. And he was financially able to do something for me. But I really hurt that man. But I could I could see in his eyes that he was proud of me too. Okay? But I if I had it to do over again, I'd have took it. I'd have took it. That would have been $100,000 or no debt, you know, in the mid to late 90s. That would have been a real good start or what do you want to call it? Lift up, push up for me. I didn't take it. Uh, yeah. And other than a bank, that's the last time I borrowed money. I borrowed plenty from a bank, paid it back. So, y'all don't know me. Something flew up in a tree. Everybody saying all this bad stuff about me. Y'all don't know me. I'm not wealthy by any stretch of the imagination. When I quit pressure cleaning at 45, 10 years ago, I thought I had a good bit put back. I figured by the time I retired, you know, things would probably double, and I'd probably be okay, you know, working a little here, working there, not get into my savings. I didn't expect everything to triple in the last, or double or triple in the last three years. I didn't expect that. So anyway, I haven't e-bagged for money, especially on my channel. It would have been nice if I'd have took those GoFundMes for cancer, but I didn't. Probably should have done it because talking bad about me anyway. So you hear all these, you know, hear all this negativity about somebody. You need to make up your own mind. You need to get to know them in person, personally, not just what you hear. Am I a perfect person? No. Have I done bad things? Yes. I'm not that guy that beat the brakes out of his off his girlfriend in 1999 in Georgia that everybody accuses me of that wasn't me I'd have had to be a, a different color skin and quite a, a good bit older uh, than I was in 1999 for that to be me the world is filled with so much hate and there's people that Stir up all that stuff. Stir up all these rumors. Stir up all these half-truths. Why? For drama and clicks on their channel. And then call me what they are. Try to pass that off on me. Calling me names calling me exactly what they are anyway no I'm not the e-beggar uh, sorry to let you down what I'm gonna do with martini I got a uh, brace ordered uh, I've got some better pain meds the vet gave me some and you see how she run around today I may stay with those or I may try something else I found a couple bottles of the CBD oil that I didn't know I had. And I'm going to see how she does. And in two or three months, if it hadn't got any better, and her blood work works out okay, I may have the ACL surgery. But right now, I'm just going to try to treat her and get by with it. All right. I guess this is kind of a rant video of sorts. I don't know. 
25 minutes plus 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 but i'm going to end this one where right here i appreciate each and every one of you thank you guys so much for watching my videos hey we'll see you again soon you guys take care and as always what and i don't care if you like it or not i give god the glory for my life jesus christ is my lord and savior if that bothers you you got the problem not me so at the end of every video, we'll be at the end of every video. And if you don't like it, don't watch the end of the video. You know by now when to cut it off. Bye from Concho, Arizona.